In this video, I'm going to tell you about U-1206, a submarine that sank because of his toilets. It all began on April 6, 1945 in the North Sea. After a few test patrols, the brand new U-1206 leaves the port of Christensen to carry out its first operational patrol. It's a state-of-the-art U-boat, Type 7C. It's equipped with all innovations of the time, active sonar, greater autonomy, and even a snorkel, a rigid pipe that was used to supply air to the diesel engines at a shallow depth. Heading for the coast of Scotland, young Captain Carl Adolf Schlitz, 27 years old, is sailing with the help of the Elektra Sane and Lagen. It's a navigation system by land beacon that works a little like Loran, the terrestrial ancestor of GPS. Everything is going well when the 9th of April a first problem appears. The starboard engine compressor fails. Deciding to go ahead on, Captain Schlitt will be faced with a new problem four days later. This time, it's the whole starboard engine which fails. This time, the problem is more serious. They really have to stop the diesel engines to fix it. Continuing at low speed on its electric motors, the crew is doing everything possible to repair the engine quickly. Hours are counted. It's really not good to break down so close to the English coast. The area is infested with patrol ships and also the coastal commands, whose role is precisely to prevent this kind of intrusion. And it's in this context that Schlitt sees passing under his nose an 8,000 ton freighter. Disgusted not being able to attack it, everyone is working harder to repair the engine. The next day as the submarine is diving about 15 kilometers from the coastline near the town of Peterhead, the real problems begin. While the submarine is diving at 60 meters, Schlitt decides to use the toilet. Seven C-type U-boats are equipped with two toilets, one forwards and one in the middle, next to the kitchen, but the middle one is almost always used to store provisions, so the entire crew of 48 guys has to deal with only one toilet, the one in the front. But U-1206 isn't just any submarine, it is very recent, and it also benefits from the latest in toilet technology. Up to now, the German submarine toilets could only be used on the surface or shallow because they discharged the sewage directly into the sea while Allied submarines had opted for a tank system more bulky and heavier. Schlitz submarine, on the other hand, is equipped with a high-pressure system extremely complicated, which allows to eject the dump even at great depth, a kind of poop torpedo. But this system is overly complicated, and the dump has to pass through several pressurized airlocks separated by valves that have to be closed and opened in a specific order. In fact, it's so complicated that a crew member is specially trained to operate the toilet. This toilet specialist role, not kidding, it's the official term, is stumbled upon the mechanic Mobius, the lose St. Peter. I don't even dare imagine all the shitty jokes he must have to deal with all year long, but Captain Schlitt, pretty confident, does his own thing, pooping, and then starts turning the valves as he thinks it has to be. Seeing that it doesn't work, he calls Mobius. Mobius arrives, exhausted from the night he just spent with his colleagues repairing the starboard diesel engine, and starts the procedure, without asking the captain if he touched anything. Schlitt, sure he's got it all straightened out, doesn't say anything, but then, that dear Carl Adolf left the inner valve open and the intermediate valves as well. At the moment Mobius opens the external valve, a torrent of seawater mixed with excrement spurts all over the room and is starting to invade the toilet and the compartments around it. The torpedo room starts to fill up, and the water seeps into the lower level. Things could have stopped deteriorating, but bad luck is going to bite the crew. The bilge pump breaks down and worse, just below the toilet is one of the two electric battery compartments. And electric batteries don't mix well with seawater at all. A chemical reaction takes place which gives off hydrogen, which is explosive, and above all, a very toxic gas, chlorine dioxide. Now it's turning into a total panic. The gas begins to invade adjacent compartments and the submarine weighed down by water nosedives. Schlitt gives the order to fire the four torpedoes loaded in the forward tubes to rebalance and lighten the submarine. But to get rid of the toxic gas, there are not many solutions. They need to surface and ventilate. So that's our unfortunate crew on the surface and our dear captain soaked from head to toe, who do their utmost to ventilate the air of the submarine. And that's precisely at that moment a plane from the Coastal Command spots the sub and starts attacking it. Reports are contradictory on this point, but it looks like a sailor died in that attack. U-1206 is severely damaged, he can't dive anymore, and faced with this unsolvable situation, Schlitt then orders the abandonment and scuttling of the submarine. In accordance with procedure, the Enigma machine is destroyed, codebooks packed in a weighted bag provided for this purpose to be thrown into the sea. 
The evacuation starts and 14 sailors take the first raft. They're being collected by the Reaper, a lobster fisherman from Peterhead. The second raft containing six men will be less lucky. He's violently pushed by waves on the rocks and only three will come out alive. Just before midnight, HMT Notsu and the HMT Ligni are approaching. Their trawlers converted to a lightly armed coast guard. They then saw U-1206 roll over to the side and sink. It's finally the Notsu who gets the last two rafts with the rest of the crew. Survivors are returned to Peterhead and taken prisoner. A total of four sailors will have died in this accident. Ironically, 16 days later, the one who shouldn't be named on YouTube, commits suicide in his bunker in Berlin. Schlitt will survive the war and finally die in 2009. In 1986, he even had the opportunity to see his rescuers who had taken him on board the Reaper. Now the U-1206, sunk on April 14th, 1945, by this toilet lies at a depth of 86 meters, a few miles off the coast of Scotland. Well, it's hard to wrap up a historical anecdote of this kind without making a really dodgy joke, and I actually think I'm gonna let you have this pleasure in the comments, so go ahead and enjoy. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the new format, feel free to tell me, and until then, see you soon in the next video.